Hello, welcome to Asian Petrol Ed. Uh, let me just mute myself again. Uh, now, welcome to Asian Petro. It is uh, March 17th here in Korea. It's about 10:15. So, good morning to you guys. And if you're watching from North America, or uh, then good afternoon or good evening to you guys. My monitor just died. Um, and I hope you guys are staying healthy. Um, I'm not supposed to say that word on the YouTube. That's what I heard. But um, just wash your hands a lot, and uh, you know, just don't go where there's lots of group of people. Okay, just avoid that and uh, today I just want to talk about hello guys uh, hello Philip hello dear uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, today I just wanted to talk about the all new fourth generation Kia Sorento and because of the uh, the health issues going on uh, they were supposed to introduce the all new fourth MQ4 all new Sorento last Tuesday but because of the, all the health issues going on uh, they postponed it and they have decided that uh, they should do it uh, over the uh, through uh, live streaming so we're gonna get a session uh, sort of like a watch together session uh, pretty soon uh, Kia will actually introduce I mean start launching the car by uh, in about 14 minutes so uh, we're just gonna talk about a little bit and then also talk about the uh, show you the um, the actual launch together and it's going to be uh, done in English I mean Korean but uh, I'll just walk you through guys and tell you important things so don't worry about it and uh, before we begin uh, if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys and uh, let's get started we have about uh, 30 minutes uh, so why don't we just show you the uh, the home page Kia oh sorry that's my face oh there's better uh, right now on the bottom it says after six life begins uh, I guess uh, in Korea they wanted Kia wanted really wanted to emphasize the um, the after work life uh, you can do so much with the Sorento when you buy one okay so uh, let me just uh, quickly show you a few things um, this is what the home page looks like. Uh, that's uh, from the side, front, and rear. Uh, we're going to talk about it pretty soon. And they seem to be uh, really focusing on the full LED headlamp and vertical looking tail lamp, and also uh, 20 inch rims. Uh, looks pretty nice. Um, the interior looks quite promising too. We'll also talk about it a little bit uh, later. Um, it's got 10 and quarter inch infotainment screens and uh, leather seats looks pretty nice uh, and for the first time Kia is explaining that they have added two captain chairs for the second row seats which now is offered so five seats six seats or seven seats so uh, I think my personal would be uh, six seats with the captain chairs in the middle so it looks quite promising as well um, so all new platform so it's got how many airbags eight airbags um, and uh, it's got dial type, gear selector, all-wheel drive, front bias, all-wheel drive system. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, so we have, and uh, they, uh, they're saying uh, it's going to introduce a car here today with the diesel engine, 2.2 liter diesel engine, which makes about 202 horsepower and about 45 kilometers per a kilogram per meter which is a carryover but it's made it to actually eight speed uh, wet type um, dual clutch system uh, and re which will return about 14.3 kilometers per liter which is about 33.6 miles per gallon which is very very nice um, they'll also introduce car with a 2.5 liter 2.5 liter turbo um, Maybe 2.5 liter for the uh, North American market uh, because we have diesel. I don't think we're going to get 2.5 liter. We, maybe we're going to get 2.5 liter turbo, uh, 1.6 liter hybrid, uh, 1.6 liter turbo plug-in hybrid. So those uh, 1.6 liter turbo hybrid will actually make about 230 horsepower while the uh, plug-in hy hybrid will make about 265 horsepower. And, uh, you know, the hybrid 1.6 liter hybrid is known to return about 15.3 kilometers per liter which is about 35.9 miles per gallon which is very very good efficiency so hello guys um, so we have about uh, you know 
10 minutes left. Thank you all guys uh, for tuning in. So like I said, today is the day uh, Kia unveils the uh, and launches the car, the only fourth generation Kia Sorento here in Korea. Um, because of the health issue, I'm not supposed to say the word, but you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, let's, let me just quickly show you the uh, move to the price page. Uh, this is what it looks like. Let me just zoom in on that. Front design. So guys, let me know. If it's your first time, do let me know what do you think about the front design. I think it looks pretty good. Um, better than the last time. Last one uh, was a little bit roundish for me, but this one looks more masculine. So guys, do let me know. Um, oh, let me also show you the... Uh, it also has... You guys like mood lamps, so let me just pull myself here. Oh, that was duplicate. So it's got a uh, mood lamp here on the on the right and left side, just like Kia Soul Boost and uh, one on the middle. So that's the, it's got a mood lamp and uh, it also has a shark spin design going on right near the C pillar and also near the right below the um, there's also a design theme going on right below the um, side mirror. Looks pretty much good. Uh, they're saying, you know, they got this design themes from Kia Proceed, but uh, it looks a little bit like a Renault to me. Uh, not a big fan of the uh, air vents, but uh, do you guys let me know what do you think about it. Um, and uh, they seem to got uh, design cues from Kia Telluride uh, that for the, uh, what do you call it, the air vents and heated and ventilation seats. Okay, so let's, let's just uh, move to the uh, price page. Where were we? So, so that's the advertising the car with full LED headlamp system, 20 inch rims, uh, vertical tail lamp and good things like that. Um, it will start around the 2.2 diesel engine will start around uh, 25,000 US dollars. It's direct conversion, but it might be different when you guys get it in the uh, US. Um, it usually, uh, hello Bernie, it usually takes about, um, you know, six months to a year before you guys get it uh, in the US, but uh, let's wait and see uh, what they do. Um, I just like to point out a few things. Uh, it's got so much features. Um, I just like to point out a few things. Uh, like I said, it's it's going to have a 2.2 liter diesel uh, with a uh, eight-speed um, dual clutch transmission here in Korea. Um, but it's also wet tie. Uh, let me also show you the picture. Yeah, looking like this. Um, so it's going to be a uh, wet tie like that. So eight airbags, uh, it's going to come with uh, two captain chairs uh, in the middle for the first time in the Kia saying first time here in Korea in its class. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe if Japanese maybe had it, I'm not sure, but here in Korea, first time for Sorento as well. So now you can get it with five seats, six or seven seats. Uh, so. Um, and also about the color, uh, they are offering the car with, let me just, uh, Chi Chi note here, <laughs> Snow White Pearl, Platinum Graphite, Aura Black Pearl, Essence Brown, and Mineral Blue. Um, and uh, you can, as you can see, you can get the interior as a black or Saturn Brown. Um, so guys, let me know which one you guys like the best. I, if, I were, if it was me, maybe I would get it with the Aura Black Pearl with a saddle brown or mineral blue with saddle brown. But I think, I think uh, definitely for the inside, I think you should uh, consider the saddle brown. Uh, maybe I'm getting old, but I like uh, starting now. I like tend to starting to like the bright colors. I don't like black anymore. <laughs> maybe it's because I, I rode my Veracruz about 12 years with black interior. It just, it just makes things a lot boring here. So. We're still waiting for uh, it to start. We have about four minutes. Um, so I think uh, Kia guys are waiting for it. And uh, let's do talk about more features a little bit. Um, so it's going to have a, either you can get it with here in Korea, 
18 inch rims or 20 inch rims? 18 inch rims you can get it with the uh, 235 60 by 18 uh, with continental tires and for the 20 inch rims you can get it with 255 45 by 20 on front and back okay so uh, like I said, uh, you know, we're going to do this live. So if you do have any questions, uh, do let me know. What do you think about it in the comment section? Uh, I'll try to answer them as much as we can. Okay? So let me just say hello to you guys. Uh, okay. So why don't we just uh, take a look at this one, huh? Why don't we say hi? Uh, yeah, you... Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll just begin and uh, very soon. So, if you do have any questions, yes. Mineral burning, I think it looks good. Yep. So, hello guys. Thank you guys for subscribing and if you have not, uh, please do support us by subscribing to our channel, please. Uh, yeah, so do let me know what you think about uh, the new Sorrento. Uh, looks pretty nice, looks like this from the front and uh, it's got tiger face grill just like new Kia. Optima. It no longer is like in the middle, but it's actually uh, flows really nicely. The grill itself uh, kind of blends it into the headlamp, so it looks pretty nice. This actually, uh, uh, producer Kim actually drew it for me because I'm not very good uh, artistically. <laughs> so he did a very good job. Um, so from the rear, you can also see the vertical tail lamp. It kind of reminds me of Mustang, I don't know. What do you think about it? Um, so overall, somebody asked me, uh, from this picture, it seems to have a fake exhaust on the bottom. But, uh, and they said on the press kit, it says uh, the, uh, the tail lamp, the, uh, the windshield wiper for the rear one is hidden tight. So that looks pretty nice. 20 inch rims or 18 inch rims. So this is what interior looks like. Let me just pull that myself here. So moon lamp here, 10 and quarter inch, inch uh, gauge cluster. If you get it optional, you can get 12.3 gauge cluster. But if not, you can, they'll give you 4.2 inch screen in the middle. So with analog gauges. So it's pretty good. Uh, they said uh, LED interior lights. And also um, first row, it will have a double laminated windows for the first row. And uh, it will also have a, you know, manual but side curtains for the, uh, second row people, uh, just like uh, Hyundai Sonata. 10-way uh, adjustable uh, if you get it optional, but 8, eight uh, adjustable for the driver's side and for the passenger side, 8 adjustable seats. And uh, you will have, um, for the first row seats, you will have three-stage heated and ventilation seats. And for the second row passengers, you will just have a two-stage heated seats, okay? So, the, two, the second row will fold 6 fold, 60 40 will fold, and uh, third row seats, if you get it, uh, it will fold 50 50. So, also feature paddle shifters. So, do you let me know? Yeah. GV18, yes, it's a very nice car. We are getting a GV18 next. Uh, you know, Monday, so stay tuned for that as well. And also, the new Sorento will also feature electric parking with auto hold, um, you know, heated uh, steering wheel, built in camera, two channel, surround view monitor, and also, uh, what do you call it, the uh, air cleaning mode with the uh, uh, tiny dust sensor as well. So I think we are about time. They're still not beginning. Oh, in four seconds. Okay, so. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Uh, huh, let's see. I think we are going to begin pretty soon. Okay, so. Let's turn the audio tune.
Mmm, Hawkins, yes, beer would be nice too. If I was, you know, off, you know, I would probably be nice to have a beer too. <laughs> okay, so if you do have any questions, uh, do let me know. Uh, I think we're going to be here quite a while because um, Kia guys said uh, they're going to actually launch the car and tell us the features of the car and then also uh, go for a you know, first ride with Korean uh, race driver. So I think we're going to be here uh, pretty well. So, you know, bring your popcorns, beers, uh, everything. Yeah. So. Mm, hello, Bernie. It's 9 p.m. So it's actually uh, 16th, right? At the DC, it's actually 17th, 10:30 uh, morning here in Korea. So I don't know why they are not uh, starting the show. Uh, so why don't we just uh, let me just show you the car a little bit more because they seem to be taking a little bit of time. Uh, U.S. Uh, launch? I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna have to wait a little for that one. Okay, so let's just show you the car a little bit. More. Okay, so this is what the uh, what it looks like. So that's 18 inch roll, 20 inch rims. I think I like the 20 inch rim. Georgia, hello. Ah, they're not starting, right? We can wait. Or if you want, I can show you the uh, TV commercial. Let's do that while we wait. Okay. <laughs> This is what the uh, commercial here in Korea is like. So they're saying, you know, after life, after work life will be much, much better with the Kia Sorento. Hmm. So guys, let me know what you think about it. Oh. So, let me just go back to the home page. I don't know what's taking them long. Okay, let me just begin. Um, it looks like uh, they're having a talk show beginning the thing with a talk show. So they're just gonna release the car now. Okay, so we're not too late. Glad. Sorry about that. Um, it was, I guess it didn't just refresh. I was waiting for it. It just didn't happen. Okay, so I think they are showing us the commercial. So. And uh, guys, uh, Please do support us by hitting the uh, like button, please. That'd be nice. So they just play the uh, commercial. Oh, this is the first one I've seen. Oh, that's the, I think they're just showing us the car on the stage. Yeah! Wow. Wow. 
They're saying the uh, Onyo Sorrento came back uh, within just uh, six, uh, six years, the fourth generation Kia Sorrento. Okay, let me just uh, pull the page. So you guys can see it's larger. Maybe there. Okay. Whew. Hello, John. So on the on the left, I, uh, he's actually a professional driver from Korea. On the left, um, so he's saying uh, he actually test drove the car earlier, and just talking about it's very very nice. Uh, so we have some panels, uh, three guys and. Uh, one lady uh, talking about it. She's uh, she's actually a very famous uh, MC uh, announcer. So, hello guys. So. so they are bringing. Uh, you know, few uh, engineers and designers from Kia. Uh, you know, marketing folks and also designer. Well, Ranim, I, I, th I am hearing that uh, for the U.S. they might uh, introduce the car with 2.5 liter, but here in Korea they're introducing the car with 2.2 liter diesel first, and then uh, which is made it to eight-speed uh, wet type dual clutch transmission and a 2.5 liter turbo uh, later here in Korea and also probably in the U.S. as well, um, and 1.6 liter turbocharged based hybrid and also plug-in hybrid will be uh, their main uh, engine lineup. So. And the plug-in hybrid, I mean the engine, the hybrid, 1.6 liter hybrid, will return about 15.3 kilometers per liter, which is about 37.9 uh, miles per gallon, which is pretty interesting. Hmm. And a designer is saying that uh, as a middle, mid-sized SUV here in Korea, they really wanted to make the car look uh, very bold and you know eye-catching, so that it would be uh, to set up the new standard uh, in the SUV market here in Korea. And they're saying uh, you know for the front face, they really uh, emphasize the tiger nose uh, and now it's tiger face actually uh, they have expanded so that it kind of links to the headlamp as well and that's the DRL on the bottom looks pretty good so they're saying they're calling it tiger eye line <laughs> first time hearing it but looks pretty sounds pretty good and they also, uh, you know, really thought about the the light packaging inside. Uh, they said they used a crystal flake. Uh, so they really uh, paid attention to the detail. They say. So I think it looks, guys do let me know what you think about it, uh, it in the uh, comment section, the front design, okay? I think it looks pretty good. So they're going to show us the side now. Mm. So it all has a one line, 
that cross the car from the side and, uh, you know, big greenhouse. It also has a shark's fin design going on right here, like we, we showed you. Like that, it has a shark fin, fin going on on the top and a little design theme near the, uh, right below the uh, and they're going to show us the uh, rear design, which has a vertical tail lamp, just like a. Somehow it reminds me a Ford Mustang. But, uh, do let me know what you think about it. And they said that this tail lamp, uh, they wanted to make a <coughs> very unique tail lamp as a new design language for the <coughs> new uh, Kia Sorento. Glad you like it, John, huh? So it looks pretty nice, I think. So like I said, different from the uh, rendering image, it's got door handles on the side. Yes, uh, it will be smaller than Ford Explorer because Explorer is about uh, Kia Telluride and uh, Hyundai Palisade, so it's below that. So it's got <coughs> air vents going on, like that. Oh, I should be on the bottom. Maybe I should be on the top, like that. <coughs> so that's actually the uh, the blue color, which is called mineral blue, and I think they're trying to push that color. So guys, do let me know what you think about the color of the car. Mm. And they're explaining that the new Sorento is bigger now. Um, it's got about uh, 1.3 inch longer wheelbase and 0.4 inch overall length grown so I think they're trying to show you the uh, inside of the car he's actually uh, you know quality control guy not quality control he's actually a product manager I should say so, very cool graphics. Like I said, you can get it with the seven seats or six seats or five seats. So, the second row, you can have an awesome looking captain chair. And I guess they have a USB charging ports near the uh, second row seats, just like Palisade. Hmm. He's saying uh, the, the all-new Sorento is built up an all-new fourth generation, all-new third generation platform, and it also has a very, very new uh, part train. And first time they used a uh, eight dual-class transmission, a wet tie, with the 2.2-liter uh, diesel. And uh, the 2.2 liter diesel with the uh, 8 speed uh, DCT is actually returning about 14.3 kilometers per liter, which is about 33.6 miles per gallon, which is very, very nice, I think. So, yeah. And uh, if you get a 1.6 liter turbo based, uh, and they're going to also introduce 2.5 liter turbo later, I'm hearing later. Uh, this fall. Uh, so I think uh, Kia really did a great job. They're saying, you know, make the great looking car, but also make it very efficient. So I think it's a very good job. Yeah, yeah everybody's downsizing, yes. 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 That's where we're going, huh? Because even here in Korea, um, the small engines get a very, very good tax deduction, everything, so cannot, uh, you know. And, uh, you know, Kia also is introducing Kia Pay, which is like, uh, you know, you kind of register your credit card so that when you go into uh, like a gas station, 
or stuff like that, you can just pay without you know, showing the credit card. It's like Samsung Pay, I guess. They want to do something new, but I don't think I'm going to use it. So. Do let me know if you do have any questions. I'm, I'm watching the screen, so if you do have any questions, you can just straight ask me. Yes, uh, M MSV, as, uh, I think if I was you, I would wait for this definitely new Sorrento and uh, yeah so because of the uh, health issues uh, they are releasing the car through uh, live streaming but uh, I think uh, they will have a uh, they'll give us press car early or maybe have a first drive session so I will try to give you what it feels like uh, on the road too so Please uh, stay tuned as well for that one. Okay. At Murano, I think it looks a lot better than Murano. Ground clearance? I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> Highlander, maybe, maybe that size, maybe that size. Yeah. Highlander, I think it's a little bit bigger. Highlander is bigger. Um, it's saying uh, it will, with 2.2 liter diesel engine, it will start around uh, 25,000 US dollars. Uh, direct conversion, but like I said, um, it's just direct conversion on today's currency, so it might be different. Sound blocking tires. Uh, I don't know. I'm hearing it's going to uh, have a, what do you call it, the uh, continental tires. It will have a smart power ticket, uh, folding gates, 12.3, uh, shift wire by system, Kia Pay, quilting Napa leather seats. Um, and you can uh, you can choose how many seats, style, all-wheel drive, drive-wise, or navigation package. So I think they're bringing lots of things. You can choose between five, six, seven seats, and you can also get all-wheel drive system. Drive-wise system will have like adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality, lane keep assist, and pretty much autonomous driving. Okay, so. And they're saying, you know, this car is for the Millennium Daddies. Huh? So. so if you do have any questions, just do let me know. And uh, if you have not, please do support us by subscribing to our channel. Oh, why did it go? Let's go back here. Okay. So it's very unfortunate, I mean, that we have to kind of show this car through uh, live streaming, but this, you know, we've been thinking about this a lot and I just wanted to share the experience with you guys. Uh, because of the health issues, I mean, we couldn't really uh, show the car in person. And they're just talking about, you know, who are the uh, their target and the audience and uh, they're saying, you know, Know. It's the Millennium Daddies, and uh, who can, uh, you know, work hard but also wants to enjoy their life. Uh, and they want to say, you know, what is the strong point for the uh, all new Kia Sorento? And they're saying, you know, lots bigger interior volume. Like I said, the wheelbase has been stretched by 1.3 inches compared to the the previous one. So I think I really want to uh, show you what the uh, second row seats looks like, the legroom and headroom. And uh, they're also introducing the uh, the powertrain. Here in Korea, they're starting with 2.2 liter diesel, made it to eight-speed wet type dual cross transmission. And like I said, it's not only powerful. I've been I know the 2.2 liter diesel is carried over, but it's very very strong. But because of the 8-speed automatic DCT, now it's very, very efficient as well. Uh, returning up to 33.6 miles per gallon. And like I said, um, oh, they didn't know that. Uh, I'll also show you, gonna show you the through the phone. Uh, and it will also show you the, uh, like, uh, park assist feature that I showed you uh, from Sonata as well. You can just move the car with the, uh, remote and I guess we'll also show the car image on the smartphone like that so it's pretty good. 
Mm. And they're also asking, like, how would you uh, connect with the uh, buyers after buying the uh, Kia Sorento? And, uh, you know, they're showing the TV commercials with a famous uh, radio MC. He used to be uh, like a very, very good uh, rocker, famous rocker. Okay. So, do let me know. I also have an Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, if you get it, uh, you know, six speaker, uh, just a normal, but uh, if you get it optional, we'll have a crawl, 12 speaker crawl with a, you know, rear passenger uh, intercom system. Okay? So. So. Let me see if the volume is okay. okay. So they're going to show us a little bit one more commercial about Kia Sorento. So, see, they're actually talking about after six, which is like after work. <laughs> So I don't know if you know this, uh, the narrator, he's a very famous uh, rocker. So maybe he has two jobs. <sighs> yep. uh, yes, a sportage will come with the uh, facelift. Maybe I'm hearing uh, sometime this fall. Sometime next. Now this ace, this is actually smaller than the uh, tail ride. Little brother. So it's like Sportage, Sorrento, and tail ride. Well, we don't have tail ride here in Korea, but we rather have a Kia Mojave. <laughs> really? He's, the guy on the left looks like me. He's actually a very famous um, you know, comedian slash actor here in Korea. Who likes cars? So he usually um, does lots of MCs here in Korea. So character now, he usually takes the uh, key about six, to, uh, uh, six months to a year, so, but hopefully uh, sooner. Right hand drive, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, because you know, Kia does introduce uh, lots of cars in Europe, no? Yes, I love Korean food too. Mojave, yes. German, Mojave is also very nice too. So they're saying, you know, if you come to uh, the page, they are explaining about Kia Pay, like when you go into the gas station, it will. You don't have to take the credit card out, just or just uh, pay yourself. So. Okay. so guys, do let me know what do you think about uh, this sort of uh, watch together type of live streaming session. Uh, you know, I rather want to show it to you in person, of course, but unfortunately, because of the health issues going on here. We just uh, have to do it like this way, uh, but but hopefully uh, Kia will have a you know test drive session pretty soon or give us a press car pretty soon, so we can show you the car design and enter in person and also show you how it drives, how efficient it is and everything. So now the driver, um, the professional driver will actually show the car the first drive, okay? So, let's just see this car and uh, yeah, so do let me know. Uh, probably Genesis GV80 over Sorrento Gemini, but the price is actually, the money is actually the other one, but uh, you know, when you talk about the, the price, I think, I think uh, Sorrento is more feasible for me. <laughs> So, yes, GV80 looks very good. Oh, thank you, uh, G4T or Gaming. So, glad you like it. Uh, I mean, we thought about it a lot and we just didn't want to uh, miss the opportunity and just wanted to share the design because, you know, Kia said, you know, they're going to do this live and, you know, 
why not just watch it together? Just be fair. I don't get to see it in person, and you don't get to see it in person. Uh, you know, grab your beer, grab your popcorn, so we can watch this together. I have my water here. <laughs> So he's just uh, showing the car. Uh, it's got a uh, you know, vertical tail lamp, LED combination tail lamp, which looks pretty good. Um, it kind of reminds me of Ford Mustangs, but uh, hope to see it in person. Uh, second row seats, like I said, it's got the manual but sunshade for the side, and uh, looks like they brought the uh, six seating configuration with two cab features in the middle, which looks... Oh, they also have added... Uh, USB charging port just like uh, Kia Telluride and uh, Palisade and uh, cup holders, two stage heated seats, nice looking armrest, pretty nice, yeah, so looks pretty nice, I mean from what I see right now it looks t to have a plenty of the um, leg room and also headroom and hope to show you. And, uh, you know, the, the racer guy saying, you know, the, the seats were very comfortable, uh, you know, when he sat. Yeah. And uh, the overall, the, the ride felt very smooth. Uh, it was quite uh, very similar to any other sedan, because it's an SUV. Okay. Yes, uh, three row seats. Uh, if you just get five seats, uh, no third row seats. But if you get uh, six or seven seats, uh, it's going to be th three row uh, cross up. Yes, I do like the interior. So now he's going to uh, go out to the road. If you see, it will have a 12.3 inch gauge cluster on the left and 10 and quarter inch infotainment screens on the right. If you don't get it with the optional package, it will just have an 8 inch. Uh, so it seems to have a dual tone steering wheel system. So do let me know what you think about that. Uh, so let me just. So he's talking about the diesel engine, 2.2 liter diesel engine. It's carried over, so, but it makes lots of power. Uh, they use this uh, on the uh, Kia Carnival, which is um, Sedona here in Korea and uh, Sorrento and Santa Fe. So it's it just has lots of torque, and, uh, and because it has a new wet type 8 inch DCT. Uh, yes, I don't know. It's he's saying uh, let me just wait. Mm, he's saying when it, it shifts very quickly the RPM gauge moves moves very quickly. So I actually wanna show it to you. It also has paddle shifters but because of the health issue. Mm, let's wait and see. He's saying there's not much roll in this car, which is a good thing. And uh, it also has uh, adaptive cruise control uh, with highway driving assist on. So, like I said, uh, it will steer itself also and keep a safe distance with uh, car in front. It also has a start and stop function. So, in the city heavy traffic, it will just feel very, very comfortable and convenient. What else is he saying? Oh, he's saying, uh, you know, it also has a collusion avoidance system. Like, uh, like say, when uh, the driver becomes unconscious or when the car starts spinning and, uh, you know, the the car will try to stop the car immediately uh, to prevent second or third um, collisions. Like let's say if uh, the driver becomes unconscious, it will just try to stop the car yeah, immediately. And he's trying to show the uh, Kia Pay. He's saying, you know, when you uh, leave your wallet at home or something like that, he just arrived to the uh, gas station. And I guess it's going to pop up on the, say, oh, it's asking, uh, would you use the Kia Pay to fuel your car? And you can say, you know, full or partially. Very nice.
Yeah, I know, Renim. Um, hopefully, they will give us the press card pretty soon. Um, so we can show you how it handles, uh, how efficient it is, and how safe it is. Yeah. So, I think he's going to uh, show us the uh, park assist feature, uh, just like uh, we showed you through uh, Hyundai Sonata. Hmm. Yes, uh, you can get it with uh, John, we can, you can get it with a full 12.3-inch gauge cluster, but if you don't get it, uh, they'll give you a 4.3-inch gauge cluster in the middle with analog gauges, so that's pretty good. So, I think he's going to demonstrate the uh, remote park assist feature. God, I wish I had my Palisade has that, because my Palisade is quite fast, but just don't have it. So he's done with the, uh, the first drive. Uh, so thank you, because uh, at least we have something to show you. Okay? So, so it's been about 40 minutes. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't actually know the the schedule of uh, of the how they're going to do it, but. Uh, well, let's see a little bit more, okay? Mm. And he's saying, uh, you know, you know, I think yeah, he said, uh, you know, after driving alone is good too, but uh, you know, having it with your family would be a lot, a lot better. And he, he likes the third, all new third platform. Uh, he said it's very, very uh, solid feeling, uh, very. Yeah. Rigid looking. And interior, he's saying, you know, it's designed very uh, human interface, very easy to use, and lots of space. So that guy is also a columnist, car columnist. So it's like, uh, you know, when you build a car, probably uh, engineers and uh, you know, designers have many things in mind, but uh, he's saying the Sorrento seems to be uh, well thought out. Uh, so they are actually doing a, you know, price thing uh, going on for the domestic people. Hello, Steve. Hello, Bradley. Uh, Jim, it, it's, it's just uh, moves in and out rather than self-parking. They used to make uh, you know, self-parking cars, but you know, I think uh, it just, uh, I think that just self-pulling out in and out is better system. Okay. Okay. So do let me know. Um, what do you think about the car? If you do have any questions, do let me know. So, thank you. Lots of people uh, tuned in, and uh, you know, please do uh, support us by hitting the like button for us. And also, uh, if you have not, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Okay. So they are saying, you know, he's actually a product manager for the Kia and they're just saying, you know, they want to uh, keep on building on the brand and also on the uh, all new Kia Sorento. So I think they are pretty done, pretty much done with the uh, 
They're live streaming, so let's go back to our page. So, okay. All right, guys. So, uh, oh, there's two of me. So, hope you guys liked our little watch together live session. Um, so, this is what the uh, Kia Sorento looks like. Uh, if you do have any questions, do let me know. Last minute question. So. Hmm. Yes, John. Fully loaded will be about 40k. Yes, Steve. Looks pretty nice, right? So. So like I said, uh, let me just quickly show you the car a little bit one more time. This is what the uh, fourth generation Kia Sorento looks like. It's got tiger nose, face, side looks pretty good with the tail lamp at the rear. The interior looks pretty darn good. Okay. No problem, Bernie. Uh, you know, if it wasn't because of the uh, health issue, I'm not supposed to say that word on YouTube, I heard. But uh, hopefully uh, they will give us uh, the press card soon or, you know, all through a uh, you know, taste drive session so I can show you the car in person and also show you the first drive, okay? So, performance package SUV, um, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, they might have a 2.5 liter turbo unit and maybe they're going to call it something like a GT. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think uh, this guy's meant to uh, build up on three liter V6. So, do you know whether? Yes, I, I think uh, my family. I think you can choose. Uh, you know, five, six, seven seats, regardless of the trim level. Uh, you can get a five five seats with fully loaded, or you know seven seats with fully loaded so i think i i think you can just choose the seats anytime okay so let's see yeah so let's this is what it looks like uh, you know for the update uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in for the update we are going to get genesis gv80 on the 23rd on the monday so stay tuned for that as well and in between and uh, so tomorrow actually um, hyundai will be releasing it, the all new elantra uh, it was actually in hollywood la about uh, same time today but about 40 minutes later so we'll actually have another watch time session tomorrow as well so please uh you know stay tuned for that as well and uh i'll see you tomorrow and uh like i said we're going to come with back with genesis gv80 and in between we'll also give you uh you know night drive of porsche cayenne and maybe other things so stay tuned for that as well like i said you know stay healthy i'm not supposed to say the word and uh you know just don't go where there's lots of group of people and wear your mask when you go outside, okay? So thank you so much for, you know, tuning in and we'll be back tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.